Hey guys, Ivan here and we are 4 days out of Arnold Classic and who do I have winning it? Yes, I still do have this guy right here, William Bonek. So at 4 weeks, uh, sorry, 4 days out of Arnold Classic, he looks big, he looks thick, he looks huge. He looks really full, really massive. This is him, by the way, with his coach Abdullah. And the main thing why I have William Bonak here winning, and not just right now, I had him winning it a long time ago. It's because he needs to prove himself. His placement started to fall lately. And then I realized he took some time off. And I realized he took the time off not just because he was tired or anything. I was pretty sure he did that because he wanted to refresh his body, to improve. And that's exactly what he did. And now, working with this coach, Abdullah, who is a great coach, by the way, he seems to have made a lot of progress. And at four days out of a show, I don't think he was ever this big and this full, ever. So as long as he brings the conditioning, who can challenge him? Who can take him out? Nobody. Nobody from this lineup. It's a question who can stop him at the Mr. Olympia, but Arnold Classic, he has that one. And at that guest posing, maybe like a week or two weeks ago, he was already in a really good shape. Like, this is pretty much show ready. This is basically like one week out. It requires some polishing, final touches, and he's, he's there basically. That's it. I know Steve Kukla is going to look amazing, Ian Valier made a lot of progress, Nick Walker is a wild card, a lot of great bodybuilders are coming to this show, it's gonna be a wild show, but guys, don't forget, this is the top tier bodybuilder we're talking about here, somebody who was second at the Mr. Olympia two years ago only, and right now he looks amazing, bigger than ever probably, he's going to be super conditioned, and I am staying true to my prediction, as I said, William Bonac with my favorite to win, and I think I'm being pretty conservative, I think this is the safest possible bet. And I'm sure most of you feel the same way. By the way guys, sorry for not posting super frequently, I am 10 days out of my show and I'm in a dark place right now, just trying to get as conditioned as I can, I'm really pushing it to the max, so sorry if I don't post very frequently, but I'll try my best. Goals, goals right here, Chris Bumstead looking absolutely huge right now, at how many, two weeks out of Mr. Olympia, two and a half weeks, and he's getting grainy, he's getting harder every single day, and the thing is with him, as he says, he's only using low, low amount of test in the offseason, he's not pushing gear in the offseason, and then I'm guessing, I'm assuming, I mean, because they didn't say anything specifically about it, during the prep, he's pushing the gear hard, and that's why he's getting so much harder, so much fuller, rounder, bigger, more impressive, and look at the deep cuts, the striations in the chest, and the, the, the granity, grainy look, maturity, he has crazy maturity, and that's what classic is all about, really, I mean, it's about classic lines, first and foremost, but then it's about the details, you know, the deep cuts, he needs to be dug in, and that's exactly what Chris is. He's dry, the, the striations are really deep, and uh, this is just unbeatable, man. It's just unbeatable, it's phenomenal. He looks, he looks insane at this point. However, in this photo, this is, a, this is not the most muscular photo, of course. This is a very classic photo, classic pose. He looks really golden era. He really does have those classic lines, but honestly... I would prefer to see more lines, more separation in the quads. Now, is this a problem? Is he gonna be out of shape for Mr. Olympia? No, no, no. This is always the case with him. If you follow his previous preps, his legs, for some reason, hold on to a lot of, I guess it's just water until the final days. And then in the final week, like before the Mr. Olympia, he loses a ton of that subcutaneous water, and I don't know, I don't think it's fat, because it, he loses it like in the last week only, and that's when his legs start to look really dry, really hard, and eventually he annihilates, he, he destroys everybody and wins the Mr. Olympia, but the waistline here looks tiny, the V taper looks absolutely sick, I mean, look at the lats, how much they're popping, and that waist, and with the vacuum, and the legs are just, just forming this crazy X taper, it's just an amazing physique. I mean, it's really not about predicting him, is he gonna win a Mr. Olympia or not, it's just admiring this, this insane physique that we are uh, fortunate enough to be able to witness. Imagine if there was no Chris Bumstead. 
classic physique wouldn't be as much of a big deal as it is, really, he, he made this division. And as for his brother-in-law, Ian Valier, is he gonna be dominating the Arnold Classic stage? It actually seems like he proved his conditioning even more. How is that even possible, I wonder? When I saw him at Texas Pro, I thought that's pretty much it. He cannot get more conditioned than that. Maybe he can get fuller, rounder, but conditioned, more conditioned than that with this size, I thought it's not possible, but it seems like he, his glutes are even more shredded now. Maybe it's just the lighting, maybe it's not really an improvement, he says it is, so I trust him. We'll see at the Arnold Classic stage, but I mean, come on, how, how much more shredded can he be? That Texas version was just, I mean, that was it, that, that was it, he was done, he was cooked. So, at this point, he looks shredded, but is that going to be enough to, to take out, like, William Bonek? Mm, I don't see it happening, no, no, even though he's super conditioned, even though he's uh, peaking perfectly, every show pretty much he does, he looks better and better, I still don't see him beating William Bonek because of the structure mainly, and can he win second spot, yeah, yeah, he can beat Steve Kuklo, he can beat everybody else in that lineup, that can happen, but I just don't see him beating William Bonek, I think William Bonek is very firm in that first spot. Alright, Regan Grimes, he's bringing conditioning, he's getting more conditioned, and at uh, two and a half weeks out of Mr. Olympia, is he conditioned enough for this point? Yeah. Is he conditioned enough to step on the stage? I would prefer to see him more conditioned. Look, Regan, he has beautiful lines, definitely. But is he gonna be one of the mass monsters? Is he going to beat the other guys because of the size? No. So what he can do, aside from bringing really good aesthetics, which isn't really that big of a factor, let's be honest, in open bodybuilding. Aside from that, he can really try and bring crazy level of conditioning. And with those lines, it's just gonna make him look more impressive. But at this point, I mean, it looks great, this physique looks beautiful, but is this gonna be like top 10 Mr. Olympia physique at this lineup with this freaking insane, insane lineup this year that we have? Yeah, I don't see that happening. I don't think he's gonna be top 10. But I love his physique, for sure, me personally. Now, this photo was taken after hamstrings and glutes. And you guys know that Regan has really dominant hamstrings and glutes. He really does have crazy hamstring genetics and a lot of size in that area. So, I'm sure that is his lowest day. He has the least amount of calories and carbs and he's doing a lot of cardio for sure. And that's why he's probably too depleted here, not filled up with carbs, so the muscle is not really pushing the skin and he doesn't look that jacked, that impressive, but conditioning is getting there and the lines are really looking great, so I think it's gonna be the best version of Regan Grimes so far that we saw. And finally, we get to see a physique update, a sneak peek of a physique update of Brandon Curry. This was taken on 16, so about a week ago, and at this point, as I said before, he really does look full, he kept a lot of fullness, so he is probably being super safe in order to not lose size, look at him, he does not <laughs> look small, he definitely doesn't look too depleted, and I'm sure he's not going to get there, so I'm sure he's going to keep the fullness and stay round and big, because you know what, the size is the name of the game right now, Big Ramy is the champ, and you need to bring the size if you want to beat that guy, you can't show up looking like a classic physique, looking like Flex Wheeler or, or, or Kevin Lebron in 92 or Sean Ray, I don't know, and beat Big Ramy. No, no, he, he, he's a Mr. Olympia and size is what is expected from these guys. You guys have classic physique. That's about the classic lines, that's about the pretty aesthetics, that's about the conditioning and the deep striations and deep cuts. Bodybuilding right now is about the mass and I love it that way. I love that we finally figured out, I mean, the, the waistlines, we don't want that, bubble guts have no place in any division, that, that's done, that's done for, we don't want to see that anymore, but in bodybuilding we want to see the size freaks for sure, as conditioned as you can be, but as big and as full as you can be, classic is classic, bodybuilding is bodybuilding, and I love the fact that Brandon understands that, He's not going to play the, side, the, the, the conditioning game, even though he could do that very easily. Though he does have some crazy bubbly muscle, but he doesn't really have as much mass as Big Ram, especially in the legs. So, no matter what he does, Big Ram is going to probably make him look small, smaller, 
but is that going to be enough to take him out because Brandon is going to make Big Ramy look fat in certain areas like lower back and stuff like that so and the shape like Brandon just flows so so well but in all likeliness if Big Ramy comes on like he was last year and you guys can see Big Ramy training and how focused he is it seems like he's gonna be there it seems like it really seems like Big Ramy is gonna bring his max and yeah, I think he's gonna be the two times Mr. Olympia champion at this point. I'm gonna do a prediction video and I'll tell you my final thoughts. But at this point, yeah, I think everybody can see pretty much that Big Ram is going to be two times Mr. Olympia champion. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more bodybuilding content like this. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much once again. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.